Welcome to my Rockland garage guys and today I'm gonna present you the setup of my KTM 200 Duke stunt bike. Follow me. For the good atmosphere on the live shows I work with DJ Akrapovich, stainless steel, a slip on exhaust and I like it because already as mentioned good sound and the most important feature for me is that it's pretty lightweight in comparison with the standard version and uh, yeah, it just looks sick and I protect it with the uh, crash pads so if I crash it always looks fresh uh, and I don't need to change it every, every week a uh, new, uh, new slip on exhaust. For the rear shock uh, suspension, we changed the standard version with a VWP prototype shock. Uh, the reason is that because it needs a little bit better uh, rebound and it needs to be uh, much stiffer than the standard one. Uh, so we changed a little bit and made it, made it a little bit better. And then also one of the most important parts to protect your bike is the so-called crash cage. I used the standard one from KTM Power Parts. And we also fitted uh, LSL crash pads on it, so I don't need to change the crash cage every month. So I just change the crash pads. Uh, to round my freestyle bike up, I wanted to add a little bit of my style to it, so we added uh, all the ingredients that represent Rock Bogorge, which is uh, Rock On logos, uh, all the sponsor logos, just basically do a really cool. Uh, sticker kit for the 200 Duke and yeah, it's one of my favorite liveries that I rode on my small Dukes uh, ever. To control my tricks I use a double brake uh, system for my handbrake. I use a Brembo caliper with four pistons in it uh, with Magura pump and for my foot brake setup uh, I use a um, Vibra standard caliper and everything is mounted on MG Bike Tech uh, brake spacer with plug and play system pretty simple to mount and that's my brake setup. So one of the most common questions is which tire do I use on my stunt bike and I prefer the Mita Sport Force tire. Um, it gives me a really good grip in all the conditions wet, dry, hot, cold and uh, what is really important for a stunt rider is that the tire gives you uh, a really good grip when it's overheated it means when you are drifting a lot, the, the tire gets really hot. It needs to give you then a really constant grip. And with this tire, I found a perfect tire for, for myself. And I really would recommend also to everybody else. And also a normal rider can, can use it uh, on the street also. I use the Rockon uh, steel sub cage, uh, power coated in black oil for sure. Pretty simple design really lightweight and for me what is the most important is the foot position. Uh, what is also the second feature on my sub cage is also that it's not only for my foot but it's a kind of a crash protection so when I crash uh, it's not only my crash cage uh, but also the sub cage is protecting the bike from, from breaking other parts. So let's continue to the next really important part, which is the wheelie bar that every almost every stunt rider uses on their stunt bikes. I have the Rockon stunt bar, stunt wheelie bar, which we developed with my team. It's quite a simple shape, uh, but it's a lot of thinking behind it. We take care that it's a perfect length, perfect, uh, uh, perfect angle, so I can stand. Uh, good on it and my weight distribution is in the perfect position while doing circles and it needs to be also strong when I hit the ground and uh, I have also a scrape plate on it so if I scrape that I can put the fire trick on. We equipped my stunt bike with some grippy seats so the main seat is uh, the KTM power part seat because it has really good material that gives me a lot of grip especially in the wet conditions. And for the passenger seat, we just reshaped the standard seat. We made it a little bit higher, so I have a good support when I do sit-down tricks. And I really like this, this seat setup. For my sprocket setup, I use a standard sprocket on the front. And on the rear, I use the Rock Bugger stunt sprocket with 56 
teeth and uh, made out of really high quality aluminium. So let's continue to the next on part which is the tank cover and uh, or let's say tank seat and we developed for my 200 Duke a tank cover out of carbon fiber uh, because it's much lighter and it does you cannot do it like other stunt riders are doing it with a hammer to, to smash the tank in and shape a nice seat um, because it's my tank is out of plastic so that's why we made it out of uh, carbon fiber and I really like the shape now and uh, it helps me to do all the high chair tricks uh, we changed the standard one with a KTM Power Parts 320 mm disc brake uh, made by Braking, the Spanish uh, brake company and it's uh, way better than the standard one in, in terms of uh, overheating, and braking power, everything so I have much better control on the stoppies and the kangaroo stoppies are way easier and it's just, I think, uh, a must have on a new bike on the front rim I mounted the Mito Sport Force tire and the same as on the back a size 110 70 17 the standard uh, size and I really like it for, for, for my stoppy game all my freestyle bikes I use the front uh, Rock-On freestyle packs and I use it for two reasons uh, first one is to protect my brake setup while crashing and then the second one is uh, so I can do all the flatland BMX style of tricks. So let's continue to my cockpit where I give all the commands to my Duke. And uh, I use uh, KTM Power Parts motocross grips. Then uh, I, I prefer the Magura 13mm uh, brake pump. For me personally the best combination with a Brembo caliper in the back. Then I use uh, this side up uh, clutch uh, easy pull lever from a company out of Russia. Then I have a second throttle control from also from Agura so I can uh, fix the throttle and do all the no hand uh, tricks and so on. And then I use uh, for my handlebar I use a CPX uh, Magura handlebar. I like it because it's more flat, it's not uh, so high and uh, it's wide enough for, for all the tricks that I want to do especially when I jump over with the legs um, and so on and then the front brake is a standard one from the Duke, uh, the Vibre uh, brake and that's pretty much it uh, about my uh, handlebar setup uh, I hope you like the presentation of my KTM 200 Duke stunt bike and if you have some more questions about the setup or some parts let me know in comments below uh, and if you want to build a Duke on your own with the same parts as mine uh, you can find them in our online shop here.